Halloween, it's coming. But while most families eagerly await the sweet laughter of costumed kitties on their doorstep, for one family, only a haunting specter looms. It was on a fateful Halloween night five years ago that a family's descent into an infernal nightmare began. This is a tale of horror and grief. It's the story of Asher Dean, a story about deadly practice. October 31st for David Lubovsky and his family ceased to be a season of joy. Halloween for them is transformed into a bitter memorial to his young son, Asher. Poor little Asher. His fatal rendezvous with death began with a tragic visit to the Guam Seventh-day Adventist Clinic with a doctor of deadly indifference. The boy's final destination would end at Guam Memorial Hospital on the night of Halloween. That was the night five-year-old Asher Dean died in the death grip of Guam's medical malpractice cabal. The recent GMH hearings at the Guam legislature cast a spectral light on the abominable realm that the forsaken hospital has become. Asher's memory, a chilling reminder that island residents risk becoming ensnared in the same fatal web of political deceit, corporate ineptitude, and the looming specter of death that claimed his life. One of my biggest reasons for being here today is that this past year I witnessed a beautiful child die. And I will never, ever forget that experience. And what happened after this, Steph? Nothing. Grotesque signposts of the consuming political pettiness, excuse-making, and ineptitude, the GMH hearings would be laughable if patients weren't so blithely dispatched in the unforgiving clutches of medical negligence and indifference, recklessly ruled by her coven of inept cronies, and possessed by Governor Lou Leon Guerrero's personal and political vendettas, GMH is in sore need of an exorcism. Distressed GMH nurse Isabel Flores bravely exposed the death of yet another child in the hands of a healthcare system that has forgotten the meaning of empathy and competence. Like Asher, no one has been held personally accountable for that child's death either. Instead, GMH boss Lillian Posadas rebutted the brave nurse's testimony with blathering insanity about sanitary wipes and cotton balls. Another fearless hero emerged from the darkness at GMH to expose the bleak state of the hospital. GMH nurse William Eric Lee joined Isabel, recounting for lawmakers the horrific conditions patients and staff must endure under the incompetent management. Uncowered by intimidation from hospital management, Mr. Lee's testimony made Lillian's equally inept sidekick, Will Can't Do Cando, visibly squirm in discomfort as his incompetence was laid bare before the public. The GMH hearings prove that ours is a healthcare system rotted from the inside. Empathy and competence has been lost. In the five agonizing years since Asher's life was extinguished, nothing has changed. No one has been held personally accountable for his death, nor that of the last child to die in the icy clutches of medical negligence and heartless incompetence. GMH descends deeper into chaos with every passing day, a choking quagmire of unceasing falsehoods, biting cynicism, and distorted narratives from GMH trolls trotted out by Adeloupe treat the growing emergency as a sinister game. And like Asher Dean, who has tragically become the poster boy for medical malpractice on Guam, we're losing. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services unearthed ample blame for GMH's sins that led to Asher's death. Two reckless GMH doctors, Dennis Sarmiento and John Garrido, were accomplices in his demise, along with the Seventh-day Adventist clinic doctor, Shishin Miyagi. All three doctors, shielded and protected from accountability, thanks to friends on the medical examiner's board and non-disclosure shackles, continue confidently, knowing their roles in the child's negligent death will remain hidden from the public. From every corner of this fragmented reality, 
Island residents can only gaze in horror, anger, and amazement at the macabre spectacle called the Guam Board of Medical Examiners. It's a desolate panorama where the faces of those responsible for the death of Asher still remain shrouded and protected. How they must taunt Asher's father and everyone else who has lost a child, a loved one, or a limb due to the medical malpractice condoned on Guam. Asher's father, David, has become an outspoken advocate for all victims of medical negligence on Guam. One can only imagine that a malevolent specter of loss sits heavy upon his chest at night, while by day the sun is a mocking grin for him as he traverses a contorted landscape of despair. But it's a futile fight against monsters. On a Halloween night five years ago, a happy, smiley little boy looked forward to donning his little Spider-Man costume to go out twinning with his brother in search of treats. Instead, Asher was buried with his beloved costume, and this Halloween, his brother will sweep his grave. Asher's story is a banshee scream to us all, a bone-chilling parable about the nightmare of negligence and indifference that stalks the halls of GMH and Adaloop that may yet ensnare you or your child. Beware, Guam. Every day is Halloween at GMH.